Hi, everybody. Yeah. Ladies, he is here as promised. You look very nice today, and you're all black, too. You know, you know. I had to clean it up. <laughs> you clean up very well. So do you. Uh, Thank you. Well, welcome to Circle of Sisters 2019. We have so many beautiful ladies in the house today. Yes, you do. Yes, today, you today, we celebrate women from all different walks of life sisterhood among us all so that's why i really love coming to this event man it's just amazing it's inspiring it's a day full of empowerment absolutely i think it's incredible to see everyone you know joining together in a spirit of positivity in a spirit of uplifting each other um rarely do we see a situation like this and the fact that you guys have put something like this together uh, it's very, it's very incredible. And thank you so much for supporting us and coming. We really do appreciate the support. You support me. I'm the <laughs> <laughs> Maxwell fans. Be... Make some noise. So, would... so you know, I follow you on Instagram, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I saw Labor Day weekend. You had an amazing time with Mariah Carey. Yeah, I was, you know, we, we, we were doing a show and, um, uh, you know, she was like, hey, I'm in the area. And she was like, let's go and hang out. And I've been trying to work with her for a long time. So she's an amazing soul. She just. I said to myself when I saw the video on Instagram, I'm like, I wonder what is Mariah and Maxwell, the most two iconic legends, <laughs> talk about on a yacht. Labor Day weekend, do you talk about music? Do you talk about life? Do you talk about working together? Or are you just put all that aside just to have a good time? You know what? We just played music. We just played Stevie Wonder, Prince. We played Mary J. We played a little hip hop. Um, at the end of the day, uh, you know, we do this, I guess, for a living. But uh, we love music. Yeah. Uh, if I wasn't in this situation, I'd still be, you know, playing some songs. Uh, and that's what it was. It was so normal. Yeah, I just catch a vibe. Yeah, just. And then, we, of course, we had to sing to Prince because Prince is the man. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, um, and so we were just listening to all this music. And, you know, her kids were there and her, her friends were there. And uh, it was. It's a very cool time for me, yeah. you know? It looked like y'all had a lot of fun. I wish I knew where you guys were because I totally would have tried to crash that yacht. <laughs> I'll let you know next time. Next time. <laughs> so what is Maxwell up to lately? Um, I'm, I'm basically just making music, um, writing, preparing for 2020. Um, but more than anything, I'm just happy to be here to celebrate and support the circle of sisters right now. So, you know, I gotta ask, can we expect an album in 2020? Oh yeah, yeah, we're working, we're working diligently. Um, you know, as you know, it's a very different time. People put out records in every other day. So um, you just wanna make sure that what I'm, what I'm trying to, wow, okay. <laughs> you see the shoe game, y'all? <laughs> She let me, all right, okay, I just got my, I got just, let me get my focus. Um, we just want to make sure that, um, that people uh, know it's coming, that it's well properly set up, so that you're aware of everything that's happening. Um, so that's, that's, why it, that's why it's taking. And I, I saw on your Instagram, you've been doing some remastering of your album. Now, um, are you plan on, do you plan on putting a lot of that stuff on the streaming services or all that on there now? Yeah, because I, I never did that before. You couldn't really find yeah. uh, Urban Hang Suite stuff, remixes and what have you. So we're in the process of getting all of those things available for the DSPs, which is called Digitals. Digital stuff. DPS, Digital Platform, you know. Sur digital Platform Services. I just make the music. I don't know nothing <laughs> about the business. <laughs> but... I love the fact that you are embracing how music is getting heard now. Is it difficult for such a veteran artist like yourself to enter into that world? You know what, it's, it's, it's more so I think that the people who came up with me 
uh, you know, remember a way of listening to music. Like, I still have record players. I still got CDs, cassettes. I was too young for the beta. <laughs> um, but I, I feel like it's a question of just getting everyone to understand where music is going so that they can support the artists that they love and, and want to continue. But it's a little hard to do that when you had to buy a record and then it changed into a CD and then it changed into a cassette. So as a consumer, you probably feel like, what are they doing to me here? They got me buying the same thing five times. So I feel like in some ways, people are like, we'll wait till the next thing. So, but it is the music business, but I just care about the music, yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. And I think, I, think what, I think because you make such great music, people will discover it, you know? And I also think like there's a gap between because, you know, streaming services, a lot, it was created with a lot of younger artists, right? So there's a gap between not just the artists, but the consumers as well, right? Um, and how to navigate through that streaming world. So I also think it's something that could be taught on both ends, yeah. the consumer as well as to the artists. Yeah, you, you're, you're, you got, you, you, just listen to her. Because <laughs> she just pretty much broke it down. Um, but the, at the end of the day, for me, I... I'm not concerned about the streams. I don't make it because I'm trying to get the result of this particular success. I just do what I do. I'm grateful to do it. Um, you know, whatever happens with it, whether people know it happened or didn't, I'm just, I'm just happy I get to create, you know? Yeah, and you're touring. Man, you can tour a lifetime. Yeah. You can tour for the rest of your life until you don't want to tour anymore. Yeah. Do you still that's... enjoy that part of, of the industry? I do, I do. I mean, the greatest thing that um, has happened recently is uh, um, I, we, I think we sold out four nights at the Kennedy Center with the National uh, Symphony Orchestra. So that's happening in D.C. And then we're doing the orchestra in Atlanta. So for me, this is a dream come true, to be able to make songs that I wrote in the 1996, 94, and to have them be able to be important enough to be able to have a 100-piece symphony orchestra play behind them. That has nothing to do with me. That has everything to do with each and every one the of The Maxwell you. fans in the house. Yeah. Who, who out right now that you're like bumping in your car? What do you like to listen to? When you and Mariah's on a yacht and y'all play the young hip hop, who you, who you bumping? Um, what am I playing in terms of young hip hop? I mean, I love J. Cole. Um, who else am I rocking with? Kendrick Lamar. Nice. Uh, I still listen to some rock him because. Okay. Ain't nobody rocking like Rakim Nas. Um, man, there's so many. I mean. What about um, R&B? Have you worked with the newer generation like the Her? Well, I mean. Daniel I, Caesar. I, I've been rocking with H.E.R.'s, but when, you know, day one. Wow. Um, you know, I, I love everybody. I love SZA. I love. I love uh, I'm, I'm not one of those artists that are like mad because time has gone and you know like i'm so loving of music and the fact that people are creative and i love seeing new versions of the legacy that has left behind by people like anita baker and people like marvin gay and sam cook and al green and stevie wonder i mean it's it's a tradition it's not a competition it's a contribution yeah. Yeah. it's not a competition you know yeah and in order to have legacy you got to have longevity and so you're proven over time and time that you're consistent and longevity carries your legacy as long as you come i feel like as long as you come from the right place as long as you're coming from a place of service Absolutely. and not vanity and not narcissism but really truly serving people's souls with a part of yourself so that they can connect with you, then, then I think you're good. You'll be fine, you know? Yeah. Well, there you have it, everybody. On that note, give it up for Maxwell.